Okay, so you're thinking about getting chickens and you want to know what's the best breed to get. Well, other than giving you the it depends answer, I want to tell you exactly which breed I think you ought to get as a beginner and why that is. And if you don't want to stick around, just go get the Americana, okay? Now, if you want to know why, you're going to want to stick around for a minute. Because there's actually a couple reasons why I think you ought to start with the Americana. First reason, they are a dual purpose bird. What that means is that Americanas have been bred not only for egg laying, but also as meat birds. Now we personally don't have any current plans of eating any of our chickens. They're egg layers and they're glorified pets. Let's be honest here. I mean, I got them a dinosaur sign. But if zombies did suddenly take over, you know, other than having to like build an underground bunker suddenly, we have chickens, we have backup, you know, we could pay a chicken tribute to the zombie overlords or whatever. But it's nice to have that as a backup. The second reason that I think that getting a dual purpose bird best, other than, you know, for the zombie overlords, <laughs> is because if you get a purely egg, you know, a, a chicken that was specifically bred for egg laying, yes, you will get more eggs. But you also then have the risk of dealing with a chicken that gets egg bound. So we didn't want to deal with that. I mean, yes, I'm a nurse, but I'm a people nurse. And I, we had decided that, you know, going to the vet for the chicken was just not going to be something that was a top priority for us. I mean, it is what it is. So anything that happens with our chickens, I'm in charge of. And as a first time chicken owner, I didn't want to have to deal with any egg bindingness. So we went with chickens that were specifically dual purpose because that should reduce the risk of them getting egg bound because they're not gonna be producing the massively amazing quantities of the egg specific breeds. Now it does mean that we don't get quite as many eggs, but we're offset by the fact that yes, we have 12 chickens, we have 12 dual purpose birds. So we still get quite a few eggs and we don't ever have to worry. All right, another reason I think you ought to go with the Americanas first, they're a mutt. I mean, they're the mutt of chickens. And if you haven't had a pet before, a lot of the heritage breeds or you know, let's, like dogs and cats, if you get a, a long line, a long history of, of, you know, it's been around for a long time, that's awesome. But they do come with certain health risks and you know, certain dog breeds have a higher risk of hip dysplasia or other things like that. It's the same with birds. You know, they've been bred and bred and bred for a specific purpose, but they don't have necessarily all that new um, genetic material coming into the line. But the Americanas are mutts. The risk of too many health problems are so low, it's amazing. So they're easy maintenance and the, the risk of a lot of the health problems just kind of goes out the window. All right. The next reason I think you should start with Americanas, they lay fun colors of eggs. It's so fun. I mean, we have our four Rhode Island eds, reds and we have our two buff Orpingtons and they lay the most beautiful brown eggs. But the Americanas, we've got greens and blues, all the different shades of them. They're so much fun. Like my kids now think that that's the color eggs should be. I mean, they like the brown ones too but they really like the blue and green ones. So, uh, really can't see with these blue eyes, but yeah, it's just kind of fun to get an egg that's the same color as my eyes. So, that's another reason. And the final reason I think you should start with Americanas, they are fun. They are so much fun. Ours come up to us and they just sit with us and they like to be carried around by my kids. They are so well socialized. Now, you can get pretty much any chicken breed and they can be very easily socialized. Um, but Americanas are just very docile. They're good with kids. Uh, so are the Buffs and the Rhode Islands. But if my kids had to pick a favorite chicken from all 12, they would, each one of them, each four of my kids would pick a different Americana. And we've got six. So, I mean, it kind of changes, but they always pick the Americanas. So, 
four out of four star kids agree, get the Americanas. <laughs>